Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the Reviving Salvage. Uh, first of all, I want like to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. It uh, really means a lot. I've had quite a few subscribe this month. Uh, it's all because of the Audi A3 carburetor. Uh, if you haven't already seen my videos previously, please uh, click on the right hand uh, top corner and that will take you back to my first uh, video of, of this car. Uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe, it is free. And click the notification bell, uh, and you'll never miss an episode again. So, enough of the rambling. Like I said, thank you everyone. Keep safe, and let's get into the Audi A3. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's not. Right, I am currently outside, it's hammering down with rain, this is a choice of not having a garage, uh, I've had to make chef make do with, I'll show you, chair and an umbrella, well, a parasol from the back garden. Right, so I've had a load of parts delivered, so we're going to try and repair this car now and put it back together. First of all though, I'm going to show you to the side, this leg is not straight, so this needs to be hammered back into place, and I think that one could just do with a tap of the bottom, see there, just to get it a bit straight, then that will be able to receive then the front slam panel ready, but uh, we can fit the radiator then. And, and I'll show you but what I've done with the fan. Once I took it apart, the fan actually went back into its original position after it relieved the pressure, but there was two parts on it that was broken. I plastic welded them and I just want to see if the fan works correctly. Because if so, I've saved a couple of quid by repairing the fan. So I'll show you that in, uh, later on as well. So let's get back into this and let's get this into shape. Right, I might have to take the washer bottle off to get to this. I don't know yet. Let's see if we can on this. Right. Done both legs. Oh, they more or less straight. Straight as I could get them anyway. So let's see if we can get this uh, radiator on and hopefully you won't leak. Right, here's the radiator all put together, ready to go with the uh, air con condenser there and it's just behind, let me show you. It's the fan that was actually in the car. There's the fan there, it spins freely now, and the damage on it was a bit here, it was broke, and there's another bit on there somewhere, and I plastic welded it back. So fingers crossed, the fan should work as it should. It is absolutely chucking it down. So I'm going to take the, the clips that are all piping in place.
how much of that you can see. But, uh, that's all I know we've done so far. The radiator and fan are all connected up. Uh, starting to take a bit of shape now. Um, I'll connect the, the air con up, but it, it's obviously not going to work until it's regassed. Uh, I'm going to fill it up with water and just pressurize the system a little bit, make sure there's no leaks. And then what I'll do then, I'll just drain it from the bottom pipe and then I'll just put um, fresh antifreeze in it because obviously antifreeze is quite expensive if it's leaking everywhere I don't want it to go to waste so this is like a trial uh, see if the fan works because if the fan doesn't work then I'm going to take it all back off anyway so I just want to get the, the car running and see where we go from there so just get this aircon plumbed up I'm going to get some tools for that now Oof, I don't know where that come from, it's another uh, the hell of a storm. Rain pouring everywhere. Oh, oh, this is not good. I'm gonna have to try and get some sort of canopy to get over the, over the front of these cars so I can work on them in the rain. This is uh, a bit of a mess, guys. But I'm still trying to get you content as well. It's really difficult to film and do this in the rain, but I've got to try and get this car done. So I'm just gonna work on Getting that aircon condenser right on. Oh, today's been definitely a lesson learned as to uh, working in the rain. It's not the. Uh... Oh my gosh, I'm getting out before I start it, shouldn't I? Right, pass in. I think everything is connected, that needs to be connected in a minute. Right, where's our lead? I'll take it that goes in there. Right. Go for the headlights. Right. That's all on. All connected up. Fans all connected up. Right, I'm gonna just put water in now and fill it up. But like I said, I'm only trying it. I'm not actually just put antifreeze in anything. Um, this is only a trial run, okay? So I don't have a go meat. I'm just putting that uh, water in. Right, let's get some water in this car, is it? self leader system. You have the engine running and it will circulate back out with the cap off. It's going to be left bleed anyway. I'm going to have to bleed these. No, I haven't run this car since I've taken the front off. So I'm hoping okay, it will start. Off. If you remember, guys, I disconnected the battery. I did. Uh, excuse me. Okay, perhaps. So I connected it back up. Who knows? I can't remember. It's so long in between videos sometimes that you forget what you've been doing. I'm just having a quick glance now and make sure there's nothing in the engine bay. Uh, Fan can turn freely. Let's see. Uh, let's see if it start. If the car starts, is it? Got to dip the bloody clutch. Struggling to get in yet. Oh. Oh. There's a lot of uh, 
Whereas it's probably because of the lights and everything's been disconnected. And it's also. Oh my god, I can't get in. Still start straight away. Okay. Right. Okay, she's taking me a whole lot of that. Looking full, so put the cap back on. I think that's bled enough now, and the system will should pressurise. Uh, and I'll put the heaters on now, and I'll get the thing start running, and we'll push the water through the engine. So, get them on. You don't want the aircon on. Sorry about this, guys. This stand is a pain in the ass. As high as they go, just leave them running. Hopefully, that gauge will go up. What I want to see now is that fan kick in. No leak there. No leak there, that's good. Nothing there, I don't think. The only way to know is if it's dry. Uh, let's hope that fan kicks in, guys. Get my umbrella. Right, guys. I've got the radiator on, as you've seen. Um, I put the slam panel on slams around on um, but it is absolutely tipping down again so I'll just show you quickly what I've done uh, but I'm gonna have to call it a day today so but the only issue I've got now is the temperature will go up just over there 80 I think it is but the fan is still not kicking in yet so I think the fan is faulty either or it's got to be a fuse um, tell me what you think guys uh, in the comments below do you think it's a fan or do you think it's a fuse somewhere I'm gonna ha have to do a little bit of research to find out where exactly the fuses are or it just might be something to, obviously the fan have had a wall up so it could be just the fan is knackered which is gutted really because uh, I was hoping I could save a little bit of cash there but uh, hey oh on we will go but uh, this is where I need some sort of canopy or something to to try and make this job a little bit easier this is ridiculous I can't uh, can't work like this you know but uh, never mind so I'm gonna sling all the tools in the car now and just go in and have a bath I think because that's as much as I can do today but I've got quite a bit done uh, at least we know the radiator does not leak in, which is a bonus. The fans are not working, so we need to look at that. And I put the front on, so and it all lines up as sweet as a nut. So I'll just show you quickly before I get soaking wet. Right, as you can see, slam panel is back on. 
and surround really does in the only issue is there's brackets that go inside that that I didn't put on so the radiator is a bit loose so I've got to take it and back off to put the brackets on uh, but it's more or less just a test run to see if it all lines up and it does um, even the bonnet lines lines up pretty nice slightly bit of gap there might just need to adjust and this is where the bonnet might have had a wall up so I might just need to adjust the hinge so all lines up pretty good so that concludes the video for today sorry it wasn't very good it's just the weather is killing me um, so if you like the channel please like and subscribe uh, click the notification uh, follow me on Instagram and all the other social media sites for updates that you wouldn't see on YouTube of what I'm doing uh, I'm currently flat out doing other things as well when the weather's nice so this is basically being put on the back burner but I've got to get this car finished for you and for me so fingers crossed that we can get this all complete and ready at least, at least she runs now anyway so that's a bonus so thank you guys and i will see you in the next one in fact the state the state dummy luck eyes in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand